we live in a world where computers can kind of do anything for us. Formula One has been making use of AI for a while now, with things like Amazon AWS, and it's had its ups and downs. F1 prides itself in being a sort of training ground for new technologies, and with the world heading into the AI era, it makes perfect sense for our favourite sport to lead the way. So how can F1 use AI in the future? I've been thinking about this one a while, so let me tell you what I've come up with. F1 teams already make use of AI to help with strategy, but as far as I know, no team has an AI actually controlling the strategy. All the computers do at the moment is simulations before the race, so the teams have a rough idea of what scenarios could play out. But there's no way a team has the time or computing power to run every possible scenario for a race. Things like the pit lane being closed in the Italian Grand Prix in 2020 were hardly likely to have been predicted. Strategists also have to take far more data in than the human brain is actually capable of handling. So strategic mistakes are still very common. Leaving strategy up to an AI makes a lot of sense. Computers aren't limited in the amount of factors they can consider, so they can choose a window to stop the car that means the driver will get the absolute maximum performance out of their tyres, and they won't be stuck in traffic after the stop. Of course, it's not exactly an easy task to train an AI to pick the perfect pit window, and there's still the risk of a slow stop. But leaving these decisions up to a computer means the teams are less likely to mess up their own races. I'm not actually sure if teams do this, but using AI to perform maintenance also makes a lot of sense. Now I'm not saying we should train an army of robots to replace the pit crew, but getting AI to monitor all the data that comes off the car and tell the pit crew to check certain things out would save a lot of retirements. Of course we can't stop retirements completely, sometimes engines just explode. But a computer could monitor the wear of each component based on the load they undergo, teach it the average number of spins a turbo can perform before it breaks, or how many charge cycles a battery can go through before it needs to be replaced, and it could save you a lot of pain. I mean, you'd rather take a penalty for replacing the component than not finish the race at all. Teams already try to do this, it's called predictive maintenance. They already use computers to help them as well, but having an AI take the raw numbers and simply tell them what needs to be changed would surely be a good thing. And now, we're getting into the juicy stuff. So F1 has always been about helping to develop technologies for cars, right? And every car company is currently trying to make a car that drives itself, right? You can probably tell where I'm going with this. Bunt Mylander is getting on a bit, so when he decides to call it a day and retire, F1 could replace him with a robot. It would be a great opportunity for a car manufacturer to flex their self-driving skills, and it would again help to stop mistakes. To be fair, I can't remember the last safety car mistake, but it could happen. And driving a car around a track to a given pace is actually a fairly easy task to get an AI to do. So it's kind of a win-win situation. The car company gets to flex their technology without having to put in too much effort, and the sport will be just that little bit safer. Simulators are very important in the development of modern F1 cars. Sit your driver in this glorified video game and get them to drive your car around while you're making real-time adjustments. Whenever the teams introduce some new component, they ask the drivers to try it out in the simulator and feedback how it feels. And these sims are getting closer and closer to real life. AI won't help Max Verstappen to train, but it will help the team to develop the car. A computer will know exactly what it has to do for each corner to get round it the fastest, and so when teams make changes in the simulator, they'll know objectively if it's made the car faster or slower. And by doing this, the teams are less likely to show up to the races with a setup that isn't perfect to the track. And I'm sure this one isn't much of a surprise, but we could get the cars to drive themselves. This makes the sport a true competition between teams, and the racing we'd see could be super interesting. Again, this gives the manufacturers an opportunity to test out self-driving tech that would eventually find its way into cars, so in a way it does make sense. Plus, you won't need to pay a computer $70 million a year. Okay, this is a big one. With enough time spent teaching a computer the F1 rulebook and the laws of aerodynamics, what if a team could create a piece of software that can design a whole car? Something that knows exactly how far it can push the regulations to make what is literally the fastest car possible within the regulations. This sort of technology is a long way out, but I don't think it's impossible. But just because something's possible, it doesn't mean we have to do it. Sure, AI is cool, and it's probably going to change the way we live our lives in the next 10 years. But we don't need to try and force it into things that don't need it. I don't think the sport would be as interesting if it was all run by robots. I mean, if the teams and drivers don't make a single mistake, then what little drama we still get in F1 will be gone. To make a sport interesting, you have to have some doubt as to what's going to happen at the end. And if we already know that Robot 1 is going to win every race because it's the best AI and the computers back at the factory made the best car and gave it the best setup, then what's the point of even watching? Plus, F1 creates loads of jobs. Firing all the designers and drivers would just be mean. 
And as well as that, who's going to want to sponsor a robot? You can't get a self-driving car to come and sign autographs in the office or pose for some promotional shoots. So what do you really get from that? And what's the point of fans coming to the races to cheer on their favourite drivers if robots literally won't care? Part of the reason people go to races is to see their idols doing something incredible, and you just can't idolise a robot. It's weird. And what if something goes wrong? Like, what if one of the AI drivers decides to drive the wrong way around the track, just for the vibes? Um, excuse me, what's the actual fu- I'm more than happy for AI to come along and help me wash my car or change the song I'm listening to. But the second it starts doing stuff to F1 is the time I'll stop watching. It just won't be the same. Even though watching Max Verstappen dominate every race can get boring, I love F1 just the way it is. I can't wait to go to Silverstone later this year and be amazed at the sport just like I was when I went in 2021. I don't want an AI to tell the cars to pit because I think it's interesting watching different strategies play out, and I don't want an AI to drive the cars because I enjoy knowing that the stars of the show are human, just like you and me. So when we watch F1 we can enjoy knowing that we could be like them. Maybe we don't have the money to go karting, but there's nothing stopping us from putting an application in to go and work for our favourite team. We've struggled for for ages to figure out the meaning of life, and to be honest I don't think we ever will. But I'm not prepared to let robots have all the fun while we try and work it out.